In the previous video I showed you a standard way of reading and writing process memory. By getting PID, opening process and using read write process functions. In this video I will show you how to read and write process memory by standard file operation procedures. First method from previous video will be useful with other processes memory. And we will back to those codes someday. But in fact it could be done much faster and easier. If we are in process or our app is this process we don't have to use PID and opening process. Current process memory is already open and we have to access to it. First we'll be saving section into file. Our task is to save this section into file. Let's run Oli to locate this section. Here is section address. and size. Here is how it looks in Hexdump. Let's back to the code. As you can see we don't have PID, opening process and reading process memory. Memory in current process is always open. Code is much shorter and we want in for any antivirus system or malware analysis that we are doing something with memory. Only call to save file. Here we are creating file. In write file function we are already saving sections straight from memory into the file. Of course with specified size. Now let's check it by file hex print. This code was explained in previous video. Its task is to print file in hex dump. Like you see we have the same output in debugger and in our app. Overwriting the section. Our task is to overwrite this section by bytes from the file. The nope file to overwrite section will be created by this app. Let's check what's inside by file hex print. Same chars and size. Back to the code. Also this time we don't have to get pit of process, open it and write by official function. We don't even have to allocating memory for buffer. Everything will be done by red knob file function. Of course, that's just standard file operation procedure. Here we are opening file to read. Here we are reading memory stride to the section. Is much faster than even using malloc and then copying data into destination. And the memcopy code you can also find on my GitHub. Everything is fine, but we won't see results in standard execution. Let's back to Oli. First, let's see dump of second section. To see if this works, let's locate section in dump. Now, let's set breakpoint on the red file and after a step over this function, section should be changed and overwritten by knobs from the file. So, as you see, the standard methods are not always the best. I've already shown you how to mess with process memory using standard file operation procedures. 
thanks for watching. Stay safe and always pay attention to file extension.